I've got this section of a yew tree and I'm going to show you how to mill some boards out of it using your table saw and a simple jig. taken one pass through the table saw and sawn this log in half. Now what we're going to do is just move the log out half an inch, screw it back in and then take another slice so we've got a board and then we'll do the same with this log. So we've basically taken what was this log of a yew tree, we've put it in this simple jig made with some three quarter inch ply, which allowed us to run it through the table saw. And with a few passes, we've taken some boards out of this yew log. And obviously this is what it's revealed. Beautiful bit of wood, lovely grain pattern. And these are the two centre boards that that log has yielded. I think you'll agree they look beautiful with that contrast between the sapwood and the heartwood. We're going to join these two boards and then glue them together to make one larger board. And then this is going to feature as the top of our box. So I've got my little clamping jig here. I've just laid some cling film over the top of it to stop the glue sticking to it. I've got a couple of sacrificial strips that I'm going to glue to either end. They'll just give me a bit more wood to run through the planer to prevent any snipe at the end. And then I've got these clamping blocks and wedges. So I'll show you how I glue it together.
downward pressure and then tap these wedges in. That's going to apply all the clamping force that we need to ensure that that joint is nice and tight. There you can see I've got the sacrificial bit of wood, the two boards that I want to join together, another sacrificial bit of wood, the blocks and then the wedges driven in to apply the clamping pressure across the board. And then we'll just leave that now for a good day or so for the glue to cure.